Hi, Alex Hidalgo here with the Cisco Tech VPN team. Today, I want to show you how to configure LTAP mapping for Cisco Secure Client on FMC version 6.7 and up. This configuration is used to assign different group policies to users that establish a VPN connection depending on the Active Directory group the user belongs to. With LDAP mapping, you can also prevent users from other AD groups not defined in the map from connecting. First, you need to make sure that you have a working remote access VPN connection using LDAP for authentication. Then, you can create the different policies where the users are going to land. In this example, you create three group policies called Blue GP, Red GP, and No Access. Start with the No Access policy. This is the default group policy for this connection profile and prevents users from unwanted AD groups from connecting to VPN. In this group policy, go to the Advanced tab, Session Settings, and set the Simultaneous Login per Users option to zero. Now, Create the red and blue group policies. These policies have the parameters you want to use for the specific AD group members and depend on your needs. For the purpose of this video, you only need to add an IP address pool and a banner and leave everything else as default. Make sure that the simultaneous logins per user in these policies is set to at least one or you cannot connect. Next, go to Devices, Remote Access, and edit the connection profile where you want to configure LDAP mapping. Go to the AAA tab, select the appropriate AD for authentication, and click Configure LDAP Attribute Map under the Authorization section. Here, you can select the LDAP attribute that you want to map to the Cisco attribute. In this video, you use the most common mapping, which is the LDAP Member of Attribute, to the Cisco Group Policy. Click on Add Value Map and add the proper attributes. To get the member of attribute on a Windows server, log in to your AD and go to Active Directory Users and Computers. Locate the appropriate group, right click on the group, and navigate to Properties and then to the Attribute Editor tab. Here, you find the distinguished name string you can use for LDAP mapping. Another way to get the distinguished name string is by opening the CMD and entering the command you see on screen. Now, copy these attributes and paste them in the FMC. Select the correct group policies for each AD group, save, and deploy. To verify if this was deployed correctly, you can use the CLI of the FTD and issue these commands. Here, you see the member of attribute and the group policy mappings. You can also note that the AAA server has this LDAP attribute map applied. Now, you need to test the configuration. You can enable this debugs and CLI as well. When using the red username, you get the red group policy banner. And the debugs and CLI show the appropriate mapping taking place. When using the blue username, you also see the appropriate mapping taking place. Any other user that is not a member of the red or blue groups is not allowed to connect even if it passes the LDAP authentication. That is all for today. See you next time.